There's times I like them to do smaller group activities and the chairs aren't on anything that's mobile and the desks, the um, one side you can fit two chairs so they can face, but if you try and do groups of four, there's a metal panel. One kid said they'd rather sit on the floor every day. And I'm like, really? Like, they're like, it's, it's just so uncomfortable in here. And I think they know working in groups, it's just a pain moving their chairs all the time. To move your backpack to the chair and make sure your coat doesn't fall off. And if, like, the space is really tiny, turning the desk can be a little tough. And then you end up hitting someone behind you. And it's a bit frustrating. I was like getting really excited when I was about to walk in and when I walked in I was like, oh this is nothing like I ever imagined. When I saw the shelf, like the shelf type of thing on the bottom of the chair, like that's like ideal. You can put anything under there, so that I appreciate that. The chairs are really versatile and I didn't think that we could have that. Because you could like sit in a bunch of different ways and still have room for iPads and books and everything, which is like not what we had before, so I didn't even think that could happen. <laughs> I'm so happy that I broke that wall down and that I can just weave in and out of the tables and step to the back of the room. And what's funny is when you're doing that, you're keeping the students more engaged because they're not just staring straight forward. They're following you around the room. It's easier to be comfortable in a space. And obviously school isn't everybody's favorite and it can get really hard sometimes. But knowing that I can come into a classroom and I can be comfortable and like, okay, now I can kind of relax, but still be able to do my work. Well, the high desk, with the four chairs around it. You know, that's a really good one for when you're working with a group. And then um, the cushion seats with the little desk, like those are really good if you're working like just by yourself. You know, you can put some headphones in, listen to some music and do what you need to do. The furniture allows for a lot more mobility and moving of the tables, um, pods of two, groups of three, um, that kind of thing. I did notice as soon as we got the new furniture, the number of students that I would have thought would have sat next to each other again, they formed different collaborative groups, which was interesting to me. I thought I knew their friendships and then all of a sudden they, they moved over by somebody else. So it was kind of neat to see how they you know, reform their social groups just because of the furniture. The engagement level, I think, has skyrocketed in these new spaces. Students are excited to come to the space, they feel comfortable in it, they can be themselves, they can interact with their peers and with the teacher in this new learning environment. And then the flexibility to be able to move furniture around easily, work with groups, work as an individual, large group, small group. The, the feel is a less formal feel, but a more um, active engagement. Part of the observation requirements is I have to see the younger teachers about four times a year. So I've observed her both last year and this year at the start of the year in a very traditional classroom. I just observed her in the new classroom and she had more movement than I've ever seen her in the previous three observations that I've done with her. The new classroom, it encourages movement amongst the teachers and the students and that encouragement really brightened her teaching style. We surveyed the students before our furniture was put in and with their traditional furniture that they had prior and then afterwards we asked those same questions and what we're seeing is increases from 40 percent to 95 percent in scores based on those same questions asked. We had certain students write us thank you cards which was great a lot of the K through 5 kiddos with drawings of themselves but they really they added the anecdotal you know notes of I love how this lets me move. I feel free. Um, me and my friends can sit next to each other, but then I don't have to always sit with them, which was just fun to hear and see their drawings um, articulating their feeling of, of freedom, really. And that's what we you know, really support is that ability to have a, a free environment where kids can actively pursue what they're authentically passionate about.